Hello YouTube, Jeff Steele here. Today's video topic is on the fact and the truth that women are never single. Even if they're not married, even, even if they don't technically have a boyfriend, there is always a group, or maybe a, a large group, of guys or in their circle, members of the opposite sex, that they communicate with on a regular basis that if solicited for could potentially be their boyfriend be their husband even if they do not consciously know that i can personally guarantee you that they have a circle of men that they communicate with regularly even if a female is on the less attractive side according to what society deems attractive, say she's a three or five out of 10 on the scale. And of course that's always subjective, but let's just say that. She still has a circle of men who she communicates with on the regular. Although she might just consider those men her friends and maybe consciously she, she has no clue that they might be interested in something more with her. I can personally guarantee you that those men are there. If you don't believe me, pick up her phone and look at it. Females are inundated with solicitations, messages, calls. Even if the men in that circle are not direct with her, maybe they might be a colleague and they keep it on work topics, I can personally guarantee you that if one of those individuals who communicates with her regularly, regularly, if she were to message them, hey, let's go on a date, hey, let's be FWB, hey, I want something more with you, I can personally guarantee you that that gentleman would immediately seize that opportunity without question. Now again, if you want to test this, have a lady in your life pick up her phone and say, oh, well, he's just a friend. Pick one of those guys and say, hey, message him. Message that guy. Say, look, hey, would you like to hook up on this date and time? And see what that gentleman says. That's an easy way to prove my theory correct. Now, most people's not going to want to conduct such a test, but this is just the, the cold, hard truth of the matter. Women are inundated. I mean, I mean, for example, if you take uh, a man's tender profile, a good looking man, and you take a good looking woman's tender profile and compare them, the female's gonna get a 10 to 100 times number of the matches that the male gets. And men are just thirstier than females. It's part of our chemical makeup, part of our biology. But you just need to understand that females are never really single ever they always have a harem of men that they communicate with on the regular although they might be they might consider those men their friends and they might not be actively seeing or dating them if they wanted to take action on one of those individuals they certainly could they are spoiled for choice now that's that's the truth now as men what do we do with that truth? Well, we only can control what we can control, and that is ourself. Getting a call here. That is ourself and what we do with our own lives, and that is we must be all we can be in all areas of our life, be as excellent and as awesome as we can be, be in the best shape physically, mentally, emotionally, as you can be, be as confident as you can be. Now, I didn't say necessarily cocky or arrogant, confident. Where does confident com confidence come from? Confidence comes from competence. So be competent and confidence will follow thereafter. Next is money. Make as much money as you possibly can. There should never be a number too big. You need to pursue excellence with money. Make as much as you can, period, point blank. 
Also, pay attention to your appearance, self-care. This goes back to being in shape. Make sure you're extremely well-groomed. Pay attention to your clothing, your attire. Make sure you are wearing properly fitting clothing. Doesn't have to be expensive clothing, just make sure it fits you properly and is in style. Now, you want to be also involved with your men's communities. Have your own life going. Have organizations, clubs. I mean, have a great group of your guy friends that you spend time with regularly. It's very important that you have your own life. Whereby, if she chooses to spend time with you, she is stepping into your world, your frame. Very important. You must have things going on. So, what this boils down to is the fact that women are never single. Yes, that's a fact, but you cannot control that. You can control you and all of the areas of importance in your life and be all you can be in those areas. And with that, if a woman chooses to spend time with you, go on a date with you, what that means is you simply outbid the other men in her harem. You have outshined them. You have beat out the competition. That competition will never go away. You will always have the burden of performance from the beginning of your life until the end of your life as a man. That's simple truth. So you must be on point all day, every day. You can never let off the throttle because the competition is always there, will ever be growing. So be all you can be. And the ladies you want to see will funnel into your life if you choose to improve yourself, focus on yourself in those areas. So that's the solution. Focus on you, be all you can be, and beat out the competition. Know that competition will always be there. Comment down below what are your thoughts on this topic, on the fact that women are never single. Share this video. Get the word out, tap the subscribe button, the thumbs up button, and the bell icon. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.